This battery could charge your smartphone instantly. It takes a couple of hours to charge most smartphones, but new research from Cornell University could change all that. Typical battery design usually consists of a structure with cathode and anode on the ends and electrolyte in between. Electricity flows out the anode toward whatever it's powering, then back through the battery cathode, creating a circuit. But this design kind of turns that design on its head, and then some. New research from Cornell University details a battery design where all the parts intertwine in a 3D structure, surrounded by thousands of energy-storing nanopores. So how is this better than your traditional battery? The twisting self-assembling gyro dial is dense with power and eliminates a lot of the weight in traditional batteries and allows for much quicker energy transfer, and that means much quicker charge times. Speaking in a Cornell News release, lead researcher Dr. Ulrich Meisner said the nanoscale design could see batteries being charged in seconds or even faster. Here's more on batteries and other power sources. Tesla to build the world's largest battery. Tesla has signed an agreement with the state government of South Australia, promising to build the world's largest lithium-ion battery there in just 100 days, or it's free of charge. Tesla will build a 100-megawatt battery at Hornsdale Wind Farm, near Jamestown in South Australia. The project will be 60% larger than battery systems in Southern California. The lithium-ion battery is comprised of several hundred power pack towers, which will store renewable energy generated by wind turbines. The battery could power 30,000 homes during peak usage hours, as well as provide backup power if there's a shortfall. The venture is part of Tesla's endeavors to promote the transition to sustainable energy. The company has previously released similar clean energy products, such as the Solar Roof, Solar City, and Gigafactory. Germany to build the world's largest redox flow battery. Tesla may not hold the title for creating the world's largest battery after all, as a German energy company is building a redox flow battery in underground salt caverns that could power way more homes than the Tesla project in Australia. A redox flow battery generates electricity by a reversible reduction oxidation reaction. This reaction takes place between two liquid vanadium electrolytes. When the battery is charging, the electrons pass through a membrane from the cathite to the analyte, the process is reversed while discharging. The Brine 4 power system will utilize two large underground salt caverns, each of which has a volume of 100,000 cubic meters. These will serve as the electrolyte tanks. The battery can supply a day's worth of power to 75,000 homes. Flow batteries appear to have many advantages over lithium ion batteries. The water-based electrolyte has no risk of exploding, and the batteries typically last longer than lithium-ion batteries. So, is Elon Musk following the wrong trend? The right way to charge your phone. If your phone battery is draining too fast and barely holding up, that might be your fault. You've probably been charging it wrong this whole time. Modern smartphones use lithium-ion batteries that charge fast, but also get used up quickly because of the sheer amount of mobile activity they power. People tend to drain their phone batteries before plugging them in overnight. Fortunately, most are equipped with chips that protect against overcharging. Still, it's unwise to leave a device plugged once its battery is full, since trickle charges can heat up the phone, stressing and wearing down the battery. Experts recommend charging the phone before it empties completely and not bringing it to a full charge. Plugging it in occasionally throughout the day ensures the battery retains its capacity longer. Batteries also despise both extreme heat and extreme cold, so make sure it's not exposed to either. Of course, they will conk out eventually, but it's always nice to prolong that lifespan and save a buck or two. Apple slowed down your iPhone, and here's why. Data from a benchmarking firm confirmed long-held suspicions that Apple has been intentionally slowing down older iPhones. The tech giant has confirmed as much, but claims it's not a conspiracy theory to get you to buy their newer models and is instead a battery issue. Lithium-ion batteries degrade over time and can only hold an 80% charge after 500 charge cycles. This, along with cold climate or a low charge, affects performance. Older iPhone models tend to draw more power than their batteries can handle, which can cause the device to suddenly and unexpectedly shut down. To prevent this, Apple's new iOS update throttles CPU speeds on older models in order to limit how much power is drawn from the battery. A number of users have worked around the issue by replacing their batteries, which reportedly restored the phones to their normal speed. 
Critics have slammed Apple for its lack of transparency, pointing out that users should have been informed of the issue and possible solutions. Most mistakenly believed they needed to upgrade to newer models, when really, a battery replacement would have sufficed. Power up, mate. After building the world's largest battery in the Outback a year ago, Elon Musk is at it again with the Aussies for a new electrifying project. The South Australia government will be installing rooftop solar panel systems and Tesla Powerwall 2 batteries in 50,000 residential homes over the next four years. The equipment generate power and provide electricity for each home, while collectively forming a virtual power plant with a 250 megawatt capacity. Any excess energy will feed into the main power grid to be used to supply electricity to other homes or during an emergency. Participants will still need to pay for any electricity they use, but will save 30% on their electric bill. Their homes will also be protected from blackouts. The first trial for the project is currently ongoing, with systems being installed at Housing Trust Homes first before being offered to other South Australian households. This nuclear titanic better not blow up. A massive floating nuclear power plant is now on its way to an Arctic port after Russia's state nuclear corporation Rosatom launched the nuclear plant over the weekend. Russian officials say the academic Lomonosov is set to become the first series of floating nuclear power plants Russia plans to develop. The portable plant is not self-propelled and must be towed to the desired location. It is designed to provide energy to port cities and offshore gas and oil extracting platforms. The floating nuclear power plant will be towed from St. Petersburg and around Norway to a Russian town called Mirmansk to take on nuclear fuel. From Mirmansk, the 232 million US dollar nuclear plant will head to the Arctic to power the oil industry town of Pivik. With two nuclear reactors, the nuclear plant will produce up to 70 megawatts of electricity, enough to power a city of 100,000 inhabitants. Bosatom says the nuclear plant is designed with a great margin of safety that exceeds all possible threats and makes nuclear reactors invincible for tsunamis and other natural disasters. Bosatom also added that the floating nuclear plant meets all requirements of the International Atomic Energy Agency and do not pose any threats to the environment. Despite such reassurances, Greenpeace nuclear expert John Heverkamp told Engadget that having nuclear reactors moving around the Arctic Ocean creates an obvious threat to a fragile environment which is already affected by climate change.